One of my favorite things to buy when I'm on vacation is jewelry. I can wear it every day and be reminded of my travels. I bought a lot of my 925 silver in Mexico, just sitting on the beach and having a vendor approach me. I always thought it was interesting how they took out this grungy flannel cloth that was all blackened, but they took it and shined this piece of jewelry to a beautiful shine before they handed it to you. I would ask many times, what's that cloth? Where can I buy one? But they'd always smile and laugh and tell me it was fabric. Finally, after many years of asking, I got the secret, and today I'll show you how it works for me and how you can make your own Mexican Magic Silver Cleaning Cloth. Hey everybody, we're the Wisco Wheeler YouTube channel. We love riding our mopeds in all things Wisconsin, but when it turns cold... Be sure to hit that subscribe button below so you don't miss out on our next adventure. The silver cleaning cloth is the best DIY that I've ever done. You've probably collected some beautiful silver pieces over the years, but they just sit in a shelf or hidden in a drawer? Well, that's exactly where mine were, and they were getting all tarnished. So anyway, the tarnish first starts out as a bronze haze and then it turns to this ugly black film as it interacts with the sulfides and pollutants and moisture in the air. Let me show you how this cloth works. I do recommend trying the cloth on an inconspicuous area first as tolerance, especially for vintage jewelry, can vary. You can use these cloths to buff your silver pieces as needed. You can use them until they're grungy and no longer removing tarnish. And actually, they end up working better the dirtier they get. But for anybody that's not into making their own, I do have a link to purchase a similar item in the description box below. The first item you'll need is a 10 to 12 inch square cloth. And the fabric that I used was 100% cotton flannel. Uh, I think you could also use a 100% soft cotton t-shirt, but you do want to use something very soft so that you do not scratch the jewelry. I also went ahead and cut the edges with a pinking shears to help stop the fraying, but you don't have to. And the ones that they were in use, uh, using in Mexico just had the raw edges. To a disposable container, you're gonna add two cups of cool water, a half a cup of ammonia, and a quarter cup of silver uh, liquid silver cleaning uh, polish. You could easily cut this recipe in half if you just wanted to make a small cloth or two. So for the first step, we're gonna put all of the liquid ingredients into the bowl and stir well. Make sure to do this in a well-ventilated area since you are working with ammonia. And I use the disposable bowl. Uh, you could just use any type of a recycled container that you can toss away after you're using. For step two, you're gonna take one of the flannel pieces and then uh, put it into the solution. You wanna make sure that it totally gets soaked up into every area. So let it soak into that solution for a minute or two. After that time, you can go ahead and take the cloth out of the solution and just go ahead and remove it to, um, just squeeze it to remove any excess liquid. After that, you're gonna wanna set the cloth aside and repeat it with any additional uh, remaining pieces of cloth that you wanna make at one time. Then it's time to let the cloth dry. So what I did was actually just took it outside and set it on the deck to dry until it was uh, wasn't wet anymore. When the cloth is dry, you can fold them and put them into a resealable plastic bag. To use, simply rub the surface with medium pressure. I recommend trying the cloth on in an inconspicuous area first to make sure that you're getting the desired results and have not chosen a cloth that will scratch your pieces. The cloth is usable until the cloth is completely darkened and doesn't take the tarnish off anymore. I found that the dirtier it becomes, the better it works. Let us know if you ever come across any unusual items to DIY and be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next adventure.